Hello everybody, my name is Alex from Chicago and today we have a very special project. We're going to install this track lighting on the wall, not on the ceiling. This is on the wall. Uh, this is a beautiful house. This is a sun room. It's huge and I'm going to take you step by step how to select the materials, what parts you're going to need, how to cut it, how to install it. So this is going to be uh, very interesting. So don't go anywhere because I'll be right back. So these are the parts we're going to use. This is a special flexible connector. It goes in that corner. And then we have the starter. This is the first piece you're going to put in there. That's where the power comes from. And then it's go it goes in that corner. And then we have the coupler. This coupler, you put two tracks together and then we have the track right there. So uh, this is where the power comes from. Uh, we kill the power, so turn the power off, turn the breaker off, and uh, we're gonna, it has a half inch knockout. You're gonna put it through uh, where the power comes from. So just make sure that you tighten the knot and then you put a screw to secure it. Uh, the picture you see here on the right is usually what you use on the ceiling to cover the whole of the electrical box. But this is a different application. This comes from the box. So this is a specialty fitting. And then we're going to secure it with one or two screws. And notice that we have two wires, the blue and the white. The blue goes on the golden screw and the white goes on the silver screw. And now we're going to put a, no a one track. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you later how to do it, but we are putting the first track. We pushed it and then we are setting this screw, this screw. We are going to screw it so it, it gets uh, locked, locks the track. And now we're gonna, of course, secure the track. It has like five holes. If you use three holes, I mean three screws, that, that'll be enough for an eight footer. Now notice that this end cap, this track has the end cap. Uh, you're always gonna push the new track with the end cap on. Since this is the one we just installed, we're gonna remove it and then we're gonna put two tracks together with this coupler. Now pay attention to uh, the direction as some of the tracks, the, the, it has two conductors at the bottom. Uh, so make sure that these coupler, the two conductors are at the bottom. We're going to push it and, uh, and then we're going to push the track on the right. Make sure you align it and then you push hard. Uh, sometimes it's hard to do it. A little bit more, another push right there. Uh, and then we're gonna set the two screws so that so it locks both tracks together. Sometimes you have to loosen those screws before you uh, insert both tracks. Okay, now we're gonna secure our track. Now notice in this room we have four corners and there are 45 degree corners and we're gonna use these special connectors. These are flexible corner connectors. If you notice it's all flexible, you can put them in a 45, 90 degree or whatever degree uh, corner. Uh, very handy because uh, this part of the wall is very uneven and it works perfect on the, in this case. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure and then we're gonna cut in a minute. Now, uh, I'm using this saw. When you, you could use a hacksaw, this uh, saw has a special blade for metal and you have to be very careful because all the shavings, you know, just go everywhere. So you have to use, uh, see this is, this is the blade I'm using on this saw and it cuts very nice. Uh, I'm gonna go very slow. You have to first uh, turn uh, the saw on full power and then you're gonna go very slow to make your cut. 
As I said again, make sure you're wearing gloves, ear protection, and goggles to protect yourself. Go very easy, very slow, because metal is hard to cut. Now I cut my first piece, and it looks very nice. If you uh, cut it with a hux hacksaw, you know, it could be uneven. Now I marked my other piece because we're going to use two pieces and then I'm going to cut it too. Take your time and go slow. There you go. Now I have my two pieces that go in the corner. Now I'm going to uh, put them with the connectors. Okay, so I'm here with my friend Danny Baker. He's helping me and uh, he's holding it. Um, I'm gonna push it from this side. If you notice, I have the end piece, the end cap. It always, it always helps because sometimes if you don't use the end cap, parts, uh, the copper track, the contacts come out of the end. So that end piece helps it to keep it in place. If you notice, it kind of wants to get out of the bottom right there in that crack so that end piece is helping a lot always push your fitting with an end cap so now we're going to remove the end cap and we're going to put our coupler this is the flexible coupler i'm going to loosen up this the set screw the lock screw and now push it hard but steady and it should come easy now uh this is the lock screw so just make sure it's tight so when you push the other side it doesn't move and if you put your screws to hold the track it helps a lot so now we're gonna do that we're gonna screw it this is a small piece so i'm just gonna put two screws and now that this is um held together with screws i'm gonna loosen up this screw and then i'm gonna push the track now uh, remember don't remove the end piece if this is a small piece that you cut uh, put the end piece so you push it from the end piece now that it's all the way in we're gonna uh, set the lock screws we have one here on the right and one here on the left notice that this connects with this one there's wires inside and then it connects to the other side and then it connects uh, with the contacts now we're going to secure our track and this is the end piece we are done with the project so we're going to put a, an end piece and let me show you how it looks let me get up close and this is the end piece so we are done with the project uh, look how beautiful it looks you can put as many lights as you want. There's so many combinations. Uh, you could do a lot with this track lighting. And um, it's time to go. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this project, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and uh, see you next video.